Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Bohm and I'm going to give you some tips to make your weight loss easier. One of the ways to make weight loss easier is to help yourself feel more full. And the tips we're going to talk about today are going to allow you to feel more full and also allow your brain to uh, trick your brain to think you're more full and also allow your brain to recognize when you are satisfied. So that's what we're going to look at today. So the first and simple trick is before you have a meal, drink a couple glasses of water. Drink 16 ounces of water before a meal and that's going to stretch out your stomach and send signals to your brain so that your brain thinks you're more full than you are and that's going to allow you to consume less food. It's going to make weight loss easier. That's one, one tip. And most people are a little dehydrated anyway and water's great for you anyway so that's a simple trick. Another simple trick that's been shown to reduce how much people eat by 10%, and that's a lot. It's a lot of calories off. To, to reduce your eating by 10%, if you'll eat a 100 calorie healthy snack 20 minutes before you have your meal, and that snack should have some fiber in it, then you will eat 10% less. So, an apple, some of these studies have been shown just a 100 calorie apple 20 minutes before you eat is going to make you consume less food because it takes your brain about 20 minutes to know it's full. And so fullness signals will get to your brain faster if you eat a little bit before your meal. And um, a side salad, a 100 calorie side salad, there have been two studies with that too that had the same result as the apple. 10% um, caloric reduction just by eating 100 calories 20 minutes before you have your meal. Very simple uh, trick. Another one is, um, along with that fiber, is if you eat 30 grams of fiber a day, you're going to lose 5 pounds a year, which is fantastic. Nothing, in this one study, they did nothing but add, make sure people are getting 30 uh, grams of fiber a day, and they lost 5 pounds during that course of that year because the fiber is not digestible and it's filling and it fills up your stomach. So keep a lot of fiber in your diet. Some of the, some of the diets that bother me today, they, they, you know, really criticize the whole grains and whole grains are associated with weight loss. You don't want to overdo them, but three servings a day of whole grains is good for you. And that fiber, and you can get fiber of course from fruits and vegetables, but get your fiber and that's going to help you lose weight and it's good for your body. Um, another trick is just to eat mindfully, which means just slow down, put your fork down in between bites. Um, it should take you at least 20 minutes to eat a meal. Again, it takes that long to, for your brain to recognize that it's full. So chew your food 20 to 30 chews, um, you know, your mouthful of food, or you know, not mouthful, but you know, your bite of food 20 to 30 chews. Put your fork down, really taste the food, slow it down. That's also been found to cause weight loss. And then you want to be aware of how insulin uh, affects your hunger. You know, when you have a lot of sugary foods, it causes insulin dumping, and that pushes your um, calories into your fat cells, and your brain doesn't sense that there's, you know, calories to use in your bloodstream, and it'll make you hungry. So you want to be really careful with um, foods that have high glycemic loads. People talk about glycemic index and glycemic load, and if we get into coaching, I'll explain a lot more. You can look it all up on the internet, but uh, glycemic load is a better indicator of your insulin, how much insulin is gonna be released than glycemic index. And glycemic load just takes into account uh, serving size, uh, and glyce glycemic load takes into account serving size, glycemic index does not. So like a watermelon has a low glycemic load, but a high glycemic index, but it's, it's a good food. It doesn't cause insulin spiking because it's mostly just water. Um, and so um, you want to eat foods that are um, low in glycemic loads. You don't want to eat foods that are high in that. Foods that are high would be like potatoes, potato chips, uh, cakes, cookies, uh, white rice, all those foods cause a lot of insulin to be released and that um, again pushes the calories out of your bloodstream and into your fat cells and your brain starts thinking it's you know still hungry. Uh, along with this insulin, uh, 
idea, you want to watch your macronutrients, and that's your fats, your proteins, and your carbohydrates. You want to have them in balance. You want to have some protein and fats with all your meals. I like a 2 on one ratio, 50% carbohydrates, 25% protein, 25% healthy fats. Um, proteins and fats take two or three hours to really convert to energy. Complex carbohydrates like um, vegetables take an hour to um, convert to energy. And simple carbohydrates like sugars, uh, cookies, uh, uh, they, they convert to energy in about 20 minutes. So when you eat a meal that has plenty of protein and fat, um, you're not going to get hungry as fast because that is going to be trickling out the energy. Whereas if you just eat a candy bar or cake, piece of cake, you know, uh, if you ate like a piece of cake for breakfast, I know some people do that, you know, an hour later you're going to be really hungry. Uh, whereas if you eat some protein and fats, they're going to tie you over to lunch. So those are just some simple tricks to make yourself feel more full and guarantee uh, weight loss. So let's get on those and have a great day.